Hello and welcome to my channel, to my life, to my abode, my couch, where we talk about style and fashion and things we're doing or not doing that just ruin everything. It's not that dramatic at all. But anyway, this is a video about how you might be ruining your outfit this fall. Now the good news here is I will always have material for these kinds of videos because I'm always finding ways that I'm ruining my own outfit. I always see it after the fact. Later on down the road, I look back and I'm like, oh, why did no one tell me that I could cut the string out of the pockets? That's just one I'll give you for free. Little strings, you know, when you get pockets and they're like sewn together. I had a pair of shorts. I literally just thought they were fake pockets <laughs> for years, years I tell you, until I finally realized I could cut the string and I now have pockets in those shorts. I still have those shorts. In any case, let's get started to the first thing that could be ruining your outfit this fall. You're always ruining your outfit. So one item, or I guess I should say group of items that can kind of make your outfit look bad, and specifically in the fall, because I feel like this is kind of when it's at its height, but it's embellishments and little detailing on fast fashion clothing. So let me explain. In another video I did, I touched on the blazers that have the scrunched sleeves that they sew. And normally what you have to look out for are these fast fashion brands that do that kind of thing. So I'm not hating on fast fashion. And by fast fashion, I mean very inexpensive, trendy items that get produced very quickly <laughs> so they can put them on the market. If you're looking at an item and you see things with embellishments or it's got really funky buttons or just a lot of extra stuff on it, a lot of times when it's made to be sold really inexpensively, it can also look really cheap. Their goal is not to give you the best, most highest quality made garment. Their goal is to get you a fashion trend that's really cheap, but in order to do that, they do have to cut corners. So I guess what I'm saying is when you're looking at fast fashion, be really careful. You want to get things that are more simple and aren't really supposed to be very complex to make. So whenever you're online shopping, just be careful and just keep that in mind. If you're looking at a shirt and what's beautiful on the model and beautiful in the pictures, but you see that it has all these special details on it and the shirt itself only costs you $15 or something like that, it's very possible it's not going to be what you expect. Hi, it's editing Anna. It's kind of early still. Sorry about my... But I realized I did not put a disclaimer on this video and I am not trying to offend anyone. These are just food for thought. And for this particular one, I am not hating on fast fashion. I'm just pointing out that some of the more embellished ones can sometimes not look the way you want them to. There's exceptions to every rule. So anyway, take all this as you will. It's just my opinions. Hopefully you're not offended by that or what I'm going to say in the rest of my video, especially the last one. I'll see you in a few minutes. Another way you can ruin your outfit or ruin your look this fall is by wearing things that you're just straight up uncomfortable wearing. You got the sweater that was itchy. That's the thing we all try to avoid in the fall. We do not want itchy sweaters. You don't want anything itchy. You don't want anything pulling. You don't want to wear pants that are too tight. By the way, I uh, recently got these pants. These are Spanx faux leather pants. I, I guess you can't, woo! Nope, that's not gonna work, woo! Okay, that's not really appropriate. Um, I can see my pants. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll do a better shot in a minute. Um, but they're Spanx faux leather joggers, and I love them. I love that they suck me all in here. So I'll link these below if you're interested, but I'm a little obsessed with these, not gonna lie. In any case, wearing something that's itchy and uncomfortable it's going to look bad because it's not going to look good when you're constantly itching yourself all day long and pulling up your pants and adjusting them and like fidgeting around and doing this number and like making weird faces. It's just, it's just not going to look good. So if you got itchy things, you're just going to have to get rid of them. Maybe give them to somebody who doesn't itch when they have itchy things on. Maybe make a little doggy sweater out of them. I don't really know what you can do with those things, but they just don't need to be in your Do you ever wonder if like aliens are looking down on us and are like, why are they putting those things in their body? Because I'm pretty sure aliens don't wear clothes. I mean, in the movies, they never have clothes on. So they must think we are really strange. In any case, you know what's weird that we all do? And you comment below if you've done this recently and you're in the midst of it, but we buy an item. We have an item in our closet that we love. We think it's gorgeous and we tried it on and we're like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. It makes me feel alive. But we have a tough time wearing it somewhere. 
either we're just not sure how to style it or we start to put it on and we're like, uh, maybe not today. It's just too out there and you're just like, what will people think? So I have been caught in that trap multiple times in my life. It just makes such a statement that I'm almost nervous to wear it. With those items, what I normally do is I just put them on with something that I think goes well with it. I'm not really sure. Maybe I still have some anxiety about it, but I just put it on and it goes somewhere. It might be just out of my house, down the sidewalk to look at the cows because I have cows at the end of my street. But I put the thing on, I put the outfit together and I go somewhere, maybe to the grocery store, or maybe I go drop off something at the UPS store. It makes me feel more comfortable with the outfit or with the top or with the dress or whatever it is. The next way you could potentially ruin your look this fall is by wearing too many trends all at the same time. So this fall in particular, there are so many trends, like so many trends, and there's a lot of really fun ones. I have lots of videos about it. <laughs> if you start putting too many of them on your look, on your person at the same time, it can look a little bit too much. If you have leather pants and then a cutout top and then faux fur and a all over logo handbag, and then you put a big old pom-pom scarf with it. I mean, there are a lot of things going on there and it's kind of an exaggeration. <laughs> But overall, you can like all of these things, but instead of looking at these things all as individual pieces, like, oh, I love these boots and I love these scarf and all this handbag, I'll just wear them all. You have to look at the outfit as a whole. I would say to try to wear one trend at a time, max two. So maybe leather pants and a cutout top or um, the cutout top and a faux fur jacket or the snakeskin boots and the leather pants or something like that. So where you're not wearing everything all at once. Hi, me again, editing Anna. Um, so that outfit I was using as an example, it actually looks okay. <laughs> My sister-in-law was in the room when I was um, filming that and she was like, oh, I like that outfit. And I guess I don't really have a ton of items that are like really, really trendy. I love trends, but I still only buy the ones that I really like for myself. So I was trying to put some all together as an example, but my example turned out to be kind of a decent outfit. It's still a little bit too much for me, for my personal taste, but the outfit actually is okay. I was just trying to give you a visual, if you will. So I'm going so. to paint you a picture. It's a picture from my past. You're walking down the street in your favorite top and you feel gorgeous in it. And your hair's done all nicely, unlike mine today. And your makeup is done ever so perfectly and you just feel amazing. But then all of a sudden you have to stop in your tracks because <gasps> your pants are falling down your booty. If you're wearing jeans and they're falling down your butt and you have to adjust them and pull them up and yank them up throughout the day, that means they just, they don't fit. And it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with your body. It means that you bought a pair of jeans and you're wearing a pair of jeans that don't fit <laughs> your body. If your jeans are sagging, you're gonna have to just move those out of the way, get some jeans that fit. You're gonna thank me later. Another thing that could absolutely ruin your outfit. Well, actually no. This can't ruin your outfit at all, but it's just something I wanna mention because you're not gonna have an outfit to ruin if you're always just playing it safe. If you have a lot of clothes that just don't excite you, I really think it would be a great time to go through your closet, do the Marie Kondo thing. If it brings you joy, you keep it. If it doesn't bring you joy, you get rid of it or donate it or put it away or just something to get it out of your space so you are left with only things that excite you and bring you joy. Another thing that can ruin your look this fall, pretty much any time, and I am guilty of it. Present day Anna does it, past day Anna does it, did it, and probably future Anna will also do it, but I'm working on it, and that is caking on the makeup. And I say caking on because when you see people with lots and lots and lots of makeup on, it literally looks like icing on a cake. Like you just like stick your finger in there and like, oh, I urge you to scale it back a bit. Take a makeup detox, if you will, and have a few days where you do a natural look. Go on YouTube, search um, natural makeup looks. If you are over 35, like I am, search natural makeup looks over 35, that kind of thing, and find somebody that can guide you through doing a more natural look. I've done that many times. And let me tell you, I am not a makeup expert by any stretch of the imagination. Even when I follow these people and I feel like I'm doing it just like they're doing it, it sometimes it just, it just doesn't turn out right. This is something I realized a while back when I did kind of a makeup detox, if you will. I had occasions where I would normally put a lot of eyeliner on or, you know, lots of mascara or, you know, kind of a smoky eye or something. And I just didn't do that. I did more of a natural look. I think I found a couple YouTube videos I followed. It did not look exactly like what they did, but I tried. Um, 
So I did that and it just felt very uncomfortable and weird because I felt like I looked naked on my face, but I did it and it was revolutionary. I came out of that really feeling like, wow, I've been wearing way too much makeup and it just doesn't look good. I think a certain amount of makeup looks great on lots of people and on me, but it's just, there's a lot of things I feel like I have been overdoing and I know that other women overdo as well. And it's like, all you see is that mascara or you just see the makeup and you don't actually really get to notice someone's face. So if you're someone who wears a lot of makeup during the day, not when you're going out or whatever, but just during the day, or you really haven't looked at updating your makeup routine in a really long time, I urge you to do that. You may actually realize that your face looks better even with all the things going on, that it almost looks better when you don't cover it up completely. Comment below how you feel about the makeup situation. If you feel like you love your makeup and you love doing all the things you are doing your face or if you have decided you don't wear as much makeup, let me know how you feel. I would really love to know. So that one probably also offended a lot of people. Um, I was just, you know, giving you my thoughts on the makeup thing. I'm not telling anybody that makeup is terrible or sometimes people repeat back what I said and it's not what I said. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll just see what happens. But anyway, um, if these are just my thoughts, you know, take them as you will. And if you made it this far in the video, hit the like button or the dislike if you're just really mad at me right now and uh, consider subscribing. I also forgot to film an, an exit video, I guess. So see you next time. Do you have any outfit tips? How you're ruining your outfit and ruining your style? I treat my baby and my dog the exact same way. <laughs>